Hey everybody, visual teacher here. Today we're going to learn how to draw a wicked Halloween jack-o'-lantern. So take a look at this guy right here. You can see the sharp curved teeth and the really big wide pumpkin face and the, the mean looking eyes and the twisted stem up there. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is take our paper, turn it horizontal like this. Next we're going to think about how much space it's going to take up on the page and where some of our lines are going to begin and end. So I'm going to put a mark here, 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 and then up here. And we really do want it to kind of fill the, fill the whole page. After that, I'm going to go ahead and make a nice curved line for this side of the pumpkin. Then I'm going to go to the other side of the paper and do the exact same thing, but in the opposite direction. Now, for the bottom, I'm just going to have a kind of a flatter line that joins the two together like this. After that, I'm going to go back up to the top. Kind of close the shape there. And then I'm going to put a line that goes out like this for the stem. It's kind of a twisted, crooked looking stem. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and put two curved lines here for either corner of the mouth. And then come the sharp curved teeth. I'm going to start with some sharp curved teeth that point this way. And then I'm going to put more pointing the other way. Next, I'm going to go to the bottom row of teeth and do the same thing. Three teeth going slightly this way and then three more kind of bending the other way and then we finish the mouth. Next come the eyes. To give those eyes a really mean look we're going to make them kind of pointy and narrow and pointing down. Let's put one eye on this side, one eye on the other side. Now you can make this pumpkin without a nose and it looks just as good, but I'm just going to go ahead and add one narrow upside down triangle nose right there. So the next thing we want to do is see if we can make our pumpkin look more 3D by going inside the parts that have been cut and making the, the pumpkin look a little thicker through the shell. So I'm going to put a curved line here and here. After that, I'm going to do the same thing in the corner of each mouth. For my next step, I'm going to go down to each tooth, on the bottom row, and I'm going to do this. It makes it look like a more realistic, thicker pumpkin. Now for some pumpkin lines. We want these lines to just kind of follow the same shape as the pumpkin itself. It's a nice detail to add. From there I'm going to go up to the stem and I'm going to put some lines across here. to give it some texture, almost kind of makes it look like hair. And now to make the pumpkin really stand out, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take my marker and put a really solid black line around the whole thing. Give it a little shadow down here at the bottom. We could even have it resting on something like this. 
Okay, so that is the basic step-by-step -step lesson on how to draw a wicked Halloween jack-o'-lantern. Let's take another look at the finished one. You see, all I really did to color it was I took an orange marker to color in most of the outside. The stem, besides the black marker lines, is a combination of green and brown. Then I used yellow marker on all these inside edges here. Just to kind of give it a, a different look and make it look almost kind of like it was glowing within, I used light orange crayons to color the inside of the eyes and the mouth. And that's our jack-o'-lantern. So go ahead and give it a try. Enjoy.